Peggy had. <laughs> now, having uh, somewhat successfully established my press credentials, and because you and I have at least one thing in common, which is that all of us deal with language all the time, I thought it might be nice today for me to come to you with uh, some of my language complaints. Certainly not to blame them on you, although, of course, you are implicated. And not that you can help it. I mean, the problem is really with the people you cover, the politicians, the celebrities, and the lawyers. And although their level of insincerity is astonishing, it's still kind of fun to hear them talk. In particular, it's fun to listen to Washington talk. Whenever the issue of term limits comes up, I always tell people the only term limits I'm interested in would be to limit some of the terms used by politicians. They speak, of course, with great caution, because they must take care not to actually say anything. <laughs> Proof of this, according to their own words, is that they don't actually say things, they indicate them. As I indicated yesterday, and as the president indicated to me, <laughs> but sometimes they don't indicate, they suggest. Let me suggest that as I indicated yesterday, <laughs> I haven't determined that yet. See, they don't decide, they determine. If it's a really serious matter, they make a judgment. I haven't made a judgment on that yet. When the hearings are concluded, I will make a judgment, or I might make an assessment. I'm not sure. I haven't determined that yet. But when I do, I will advise you. They don't tell, they advise. I advised him that I had made a judgment. Thus far, he hasn't responded. They don't answer, they respond. He hasn't responded to my initiative. An initiative is an idea that isn't going anywhere. <laughs> when he responds to my initiative, I will review his response, take a position, and make a recommendation. See, they don't read, they review, they don't have opinions, they take positions, and they don't give advice, they make recommendations. And so, at long last, after each has responded to the other's initiatives, and each has reviewed the other's responses, and everyone has taken a position, made a judgment, and offered a recommendation, now they have to do something. <laughs> but that would be much too direct. So instead, they address the problem. We're addressing the problem, and we'll soon be proceeding. That's a big activity here in Washington. <laughs> proceeding, they're always proceeding, or moving forward. A lot of that goes on. Senator, have you solved that problem? Well, we're moving forward on that. And when they're not moving forward, they're moving something else forward, such as the process. We have to move the process forward so we can implement the provisions of the initiative in order to meet these challenges. No one has problems anymore. Challenges. That's why we need people who can make the tough decisions. Tough decisions like how much soft money can I expect to collect in exchange for my core values? 